So we're back home from the tour and uh, yeah, I have a few days off from the orchestra before we go on a further tour uh, or we continue the tour, I should say. Uh, this time in Hamburg, three concerts in the rather new Elbe Philharmonie Hall with the same program as in Vienna. So that should be great, the Sibelius Symphonies. And then we uh, continue in London, in Barbican Hall. And that's going to conclude the tour with the Philharmonic over this season. Oh, say hi to my basses. Basses and double bass. Yeah, but first, today I have a day off work with the Philharmonic, so I'm going to uh, do some mastering. I have a small mastering setup, mastering studio, I'll show you. So yeah, it's a hybrid system. I have some nice mastering gear, uh, Manly, uh, massive passive mastering EQ, an Alicia EQ, Better Maker compressor and Better Maker EQ, all run through an SPL patch, master patch bay. And I'm using a dual screen setup, Neumann 310 speakers, and I have acoustic treatment that I put up myself. I recently had a meeting with an acoustician here in Norway. Uh, he was here and made some simulations in his office. And I've got some drawings for covering the walls here with some uh, treatment. So after the tours, I'm going to contact a carpenter to get that done. That should be great. I'm working on my uh, live setup, which I'm trying to transfer to the laptop using Gig Performer. So I'm sitting here and programming pedals and it's a rather big chaotic mess on the floor. So these days without touring, I'm mastering today two tracks and one album, hopefully. Um, then in the evening I go to attend a um, graduation concert for my student at the Norwegian State Academy, Elvin van Vienes. Uh, tomorrow I have a rehearsal with the orchestra. I also have a rehearsal with Alan Helbe Trio. On, that is actually on Friday after the orchestral rehearsal. Then a day off on Saturday and then we go. It was so great to meet my teacher Remo again in uh, Vienna. And he actually surprised me um, on the day we were leaving, going back to Norway. Uh, he called me when I, while I was sitting on the bus to the airport because he had a present for me that he wanted me to have. He was waiting for me at the correct terminal with uh, this. So, he had this beautiful base built by a friend in, uh, I think it's built in Slovenia about 20 years ago. I, I think it's an absolute gorgeous base. It reminds me a little bit of the old uh, Warwick Noble, whatever it was called. Um, I don't have a base like this, a headless and a small body. And it's quite well held, there's a little scratch in it and uh, the strings need changing and I need to brush up the electronics probably because it's been resting for 15 years. I said you should sell this, it's such a great instrument and I, I can't really accept this generous gift. But he insisted. So here it is. And I'll play some for you when it's set up right. So, amazing. Thank you very much, Remo. I really appreciated that. Hi again, on the train again. This time going to Hamburg and London with the Oslo Philharmonic Orchestra. And I have brought with me a Fender bass. And that is because the day when we return, I have a gig with the Arlan Helber trio. I'll link uh, our album in the descriptions. We had a rehearsal the other day uh, in our uh, touring break from the orchestra, and uh, I'm looking. Re I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be great. But I really have to practice. I cannot be one week without the electric bass for that gig. It's a fusion gig. There's a lot of unison stuff, or not a lot, but some complicated unison stuff, and. Uh, you know, the trio, fusion, it's gonna be a lot of bass solos, so gotta get in shape. Luckily, I have quite a lot of time in the hotel room where I can practice, so it shouldn't be a problem. I brought my laptop and my sound card, and uh, I'm going to use Gig Performer to practice. I'll try to show you some of that. 
All right. See you in Hamburg.